Hey guys, Gragster here. Some of you know, know me as Targa. Kerbal Space Program Rendezvous for Dummies. So here we have my ship here, and this guy that I have to rendezvous with. The first thing you want to do if you're ever doing a mission for uh, rescue somebody or maybe place a satellite, first thing you always do is go to the tracking station at uh, Kerbal Space Center and look for it and it'll show you you see this bright line that's where he's already been and a dull line is where he's going so I knew when I saw this that he was going in a clockwise rotation around Minmus so I made sure that when I launched from Kerb and it came over here that I caught the orbit this direction and if you don't do that you might come in here and then have to burn a lot of fuel turning around but rendezvousing, really, really simple, guys. Uh, first, one, first thing you want to do is get an orbit that's either a lot lower or a lot higher than the target. The reason you do this is because the bigger the difference, the quicker it's going to be to catch up to them, to be able to intercept them. If, if my orbit was only a little bit lower than this one, I might have to go around... 20 or 30 times before I could intercept it. So then select it as target, set it as target, and when you do that, you'll see these, these two flags come up, AN and DN, that's the ascending node, the descending node, and all that is, is if you turn your camera so this, his orbit is flat, you know, straight line, you can see that our orbit crosses it in two places, that the AN and the DN, and those are the places where if you pivoted this circle on that axis, you would be able to line it up. So, uh, I'm going to get a little sidetrack here, explain something to you. If you are ever in an elliptical orbit, that is an egg-shaped orbit around a planet, coming close in here, then you go far out, then come back, and... You need to change the plane, like we're going to do here, and you have an ascending node or a descending node that is close to the planet and another one that is up here, far away. You And you always want to change uh, at the one that's far away. And the reason for that is when you're in an elliptical orbit, let's say you're coming around here and your ship goes up this way, Gravity is pulling it back, right? So it's slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. Then it turns around, and gravity pulls it back, and it speeds up faster, 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 and slingshots around the planet. So if you have a node that's close to the planet, you're going to be going super fast. And in order to change the d direction, it's going to take a lot more energy than if it was up here, and you're going super slow. You're almost at a stop or whatever. Uh, it doesn't take much fuel to ch change direction. So always do, now here we have a circle. So always do it at the one farthest away. Here I'm in a perfectly circle, so it doesn't matter which one. So my ship is here. So I'm going to pick this one, and right where that flag is, I'm going to add a maneuver. I'm going to tilt the camera so it the his orbit is a, a straight line. Then pull on one of these pink handles until I see the dotted line. Did you see that? See the dotted line here? Just pull until it gets close. Now, the way you can tell where you have it perfect is these two flags will offset 90 degrees. So I'm going to get it close and then I'm going to put my mouse pointer on there and use my mouse wheel and just a few clicks at a time you can see those ascending and descending nodes changing too far so I'm just going to offset it 90 degrees from where it is so that dotted line is now perfectly on that plane so I'm going to click on this dotted line and warp to next maneuver
That'll, that always puts you 60 seconds out, so don't do that if you have a, a long burn. Now I'm using Jeb for this. Uh, you could do it manually if you don't have maneuver hold. Now if you ever have estimated burn not applicable, get close to your node and press Z and then X. Very quickly turn your throttle on and off. And it'll t then it'll tell you. See, estimated burn zero. It, it's it's only ten meters per second. So, but some numbers will come up if you tap it on and off. So I'm gonna put my camera like this. And wait till I get a little bit closer. I'm not gonna burn at exactly zero because I'm gonna slow down at the end. I'm just going to go slow, and I'm going to watch my orbit there. And that's pretty close. You can see that they're not exactly uh, 90 degrees off. I could do this. Click on my engine and turn the thrust down low. And while I'm still holding in the same position, give it some gas. Always make sure to turn your engine back up, engine thrust back up. So now the planes are exactly the same. You can see that. So now I just have to intercept them. I'm just going to put a maneuver node in front of me. And since my orbit is lower, I'm going to speed up. Whoops, wrong way. Use the mouse wheel. And you want to move it just so the dotted line intersects his orbit. And as soon as that happens, you see the red flags? This is where I'm going to be. This flag over here is where he's going to be. That's on this particular one orbit that I'm doing now. So that's pretty far away. So if I right click this and then click this here, plus... That's plus one orbit. And you see there, it will be there. Then right click an empty space. Then you can drag this around. Now, <coughs> if you see an, a pink and an orange, a, a pink one up here, that means that you're going outside of the other orbit. You're going like too far. So you want to back it off. And you'll see these two will converge. I'm just going to drag this around. Now his his orbit isn't exactly a, a circle, so you're going to have to keep adjusting this. But there I'm getting pretty close. So once I see it's getting close, I'm going to tilt the camera over here so I get a good view of these red flags or orange, whatever. I'm just going to use the mouse wheel, adjust this, try and get these two pointers to exactly line up. And when I get them close like that, I'm going to hover over it and I'll say separation, 1.3 kilometers. I should be able to get a little bit closer than that. So my, my orbit may not be perfect. So I'm just going to click it just a tiny bit. 1.4. Eh, whatever. I'm not going to cry about it. Uh, it's possible that the planes are slightly off, but that's plenty close enough. 1.3 kilometers. So I'm just going to warp to the next maneuver. Have Jeb hold on the maneuver. And I'm not even going to watch this 13.8 meters per second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at look at where my orbit is. So this is going to take about 17 seconds on each side. I'm 
Nowhere near that. Oh, that was 17 seconds. That was an estimate because it made an estimate when I had the throttle cut down. Whatever. It's not rocket science. Just, just raise your orbit until it looks like you're right on there. Get rid of this. See, we're at 2.4 kilometers. That's fine. So now what I'm going to do, and this is a little trick you can use, where this, right where these flags are, that's the closest point, right? Make an add a maneuver node there, and just give it some uh, whatever, speed it up, so you you can kind of like match that orbit. It, it matter. It doesn't really matter at all. But there's two reasons for doing that. Number one, you can click here on the line and say warp to next maneuver, so you don't have to try and get over there. Get close to that. And number two, it will when you warp to the maneuver, it will always stop 60 seconds away. So now I know I'm 60 seconds from my closest contact with that guy. So I can see the I can see the countdown node in 52 seconds. So now I'm just looking around for him. There he is over there. So in 44 seconds, I'll be the closest that I'm going to come now. You see this readout here changed to target, orbit, surface, target. What you want to do always, make sure that's on target, and then go retrograde. Always retrograde. And then whatever this number here is, we can get rid of this now. 11.8 meters per second. That's the difference in speed that w you're going from the target. So you're going to try and get that down to zero to make sh you know to the point where neither one of you, you're both uh, exactly the same speed in the exact same orbit so i can see by looking here that he's probably going to pass above me up here so i'm just going to wait a little bit longer speed up time that's about as close as he's going to come i'm going to hit the gas I'm just tapping the uh, shift key. Slow this down to zero. Now you want to aim at the target. There's no difference in speed between you and them. So just aim at the pink. Hit the gas. Give it a little speed depending on how far away you are. And as soon as you start moving toward the target, you will now be able to go retrograde to target. So I'm going to go about 20 meters a second. Go retrograde. I'm going to speed up time till we get close. Tap the gas a little bit, slow down. And you can also fine tune this by uh, changing the thrust on your engine, lowering the thrust. I'm just gonna slow it down a little bit more. Three meters a second. And that's basically all there is to it. And just zero it out. Excuse me. <coughs> and now just hit the bracket key. And there we are. That's a rendezvous. There's my ship over there. 
All right, guys, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to post a comment or a like or a thumbs up.